Hello and welcome in today's video we're going to take a look around the Lionsgate section at Motiongate Dubai Parks and Resorts and we're going to start in this video with the Now You See Me section and we're going to loop it round into the John Wick and finish in the Hunger Games whereas in the day version we went the other way round so in the comments below let me know what you think of the differences if you've managed to see the other video so far let me know what you think of the window displays and the lighting and everything else and also have you been yet and would this be somewhere you would like to come and visit now i do believe the john wick ride and this ride were supposed to be added to the dubai six flags that fell through now correct me if i'm wrong but that is what i have read so that's where these have sort of popped up out of nowhere but let us know let us know what you think of everything that we are about to see now i do like how they've got all of the steaming and how they've added in the royal flush just to the left hand side that is a clever way of putting some toilets in there and also connecting through into the hunger Games section rather than having to walk around the actual john wick bit now all the shops down this way are literally just fascias there's no walking shops to go to there's no places that you can buy food or anything like that it is very much a case of it's all there for show hopefully they will open up one of those things so you can sit down even if it's just a place to grab an ice cream or something like that because they've got so much in the smurf land and all the other areas this is very very lacking for food and drink because it's a big old land and there's nowhere really to get anything so i would imagine they will add it as they go but like i said this is new for 2022 now this is the track and they are some screams as it shoots around. I do like how they've got it lit. I do believe that the track itself does change color throughout the night as well. So I do quite like how they've added all the blue and everything on there. Let us know again what you think your favorite window is. And obviously I did say at the start, but if you have been, how long did you spend? Did you manage to get on the rides? Now that was the thing because these are brand new for 2022. It was very, very lucky dip. Now we're about to go in and through. So we've just done the ride. The queue line is in the day right uh, in the day video now this is the actual exit queue which i thought was an amazing theming as well so this is all for the now you see me which is all linked to the actual film so what i probably will end up doing is i'll just do a queue line video because there are multiple queue lines into the john wick and the now you see me has two different queue lines and they've also got very very good exit lines as well so i think it might be something that you guys would like to see you know, just make it a little bit easier for everybody I, I do appreciate all the theming that they've added in but as I was saying before, did you manage to get on these rides? Because the John Wick one for me was the most difficult one to get on just because they're having technical problems all the time. I think I managed to do that ride twice. Bearing in mind, I came here almost every day um, until well, yeah, so I, was, I was here for the first four days in a row and I only managed to do it twice throughout the whole day. But that's just because they're having teething problems so you can see how the theming links and how it comes round to the building so it just looks like the fascia of the building that's all part of the now you see me and then we will loop round and we'll just carry on so obviously this is done at night that video is done in a completely different day but it's just so you can actually see the theming now the john wick is the big building directly in front of so that continental hotel i think looks absolutely amazing in day and night um, and the queue lines are completely different because you can go down the left or down the right. So what you're about to see now is a queue line that we didn't see in the day video because like I said, there is so many different ways to get in. The videos would just be absolutely enormous. I do believe it's advertisers to help or hunt. So make up your own mind which one this is. I think this is the one to help if I remember rightly because this is where he dresses up and gets all of his suits and all that side of stuff. Where on the other side, it's got all the typewriters and everything where they're putting the contract out on him. So if you've not seen the film, this will mean absolutely nothing to you. I do like the John Wick films. I did think it was good. A lot of the people, even the locals, had no idea who John Wick was. So I don't know if the film is available over here. I mean, let, again, let us know. I would imagine it would do. But the ride itself is good um, and the theming is very, very good as well. So hopefully it's not wasted on absolutely everybody. And as it sort of picks up for the season, we'll start hearing more and more bits about it but yeah i thought they've done a really really good job with all the queue lines and just the theming in general for these rides are fantastic the only problem is is that we get to the end of the queue line and they have technical difficulties and the ride is not running which was a little bit of a shame but i did manage to get on it twice in the couple of days that i was there so it was a bit lucky dip like i said at the start of the video that's why i asked if you managed to get on this a couple of times or if if not because it's it was only be literally probably open a week or so uh, by the time I got there. So they're getting through all the teething problems. Now, what I 
did and do believe is that the line that I'm in now is a lot shorter. So I think this is the Q bot or the fast Q line um, on the one side. And then on the other side, it's the much, much longer line, um, which they'll have open more times than not during the day. But I'd love to know how this would work when it's just a steady flow of people because you have to board the ride on both sides. So they actually do have to keep both queue lines open. So I don't know if there'll be somebody there with like a little clicker and they keep each queue line sort of equal length during the day when it's just sort of quiet like this or if they just spit everybody around the one side and then they've got a way of, of boarding the train. But I don't know if you, if, if you know how this ride works sort of more mechanically than I do, obviously you probably will do. Um, let us know how this queue line feeds in on both sides because it, it looped around and you board if you board the the train from the one side you get eight people on it on the one side then same thing on the other but because the queue line lengths are completely different and if they've only got the one queue line open will only half the train be working or will there be a way of actually getting around onto the onto the other side but let us know i would like to know that that's the, that's the only thing that i couldn't quite figure out how this would work when it's really really going full fat and they did seem to have a little bit of problem actually getting the ride going because the train operator was obviously speaking to two platform attendants and on the one on the one side they would drop the bars down but on the other side they weren't paying attention to the other the other side because you can't see the people that are on the other side of the train it's all it's all blocked off you when you see it go around the track you completely understand you'll be understand what i mean but again in the comments below let me know what you think of the theming what's your favorite part of the film have you actually seen this film or is this completely wasted on yourself so what we are about to do is we're just going to come straight back out have a look at the lobby a little bit Yes, I did say that this, some of these were filmed during the day and then we'll go straight back to the night time and then we'll have a good soak up of all the amazing lights and everything, head over towards the Hunt Games and have a look at that going around the track because it does look very, very impressive lit up at night. And you can also see how the track works. I did actually manage to catch the ride right from the start so you can see how it comes over, how it shoots forward to come back down again and just the pace of that thing and the height. So it is a plenty, plenty to look forward to and I would definitely recommend even if you're struggling for time trying to get here in the evening just to soak in all of the colours of everything because I think it does look a lot more impressive at night than during the day but then it is lucky dip of the amount of people that are here. Now don't forget that this is one of four theme parks but at this time in the evening only two of them are going to be open up. It'd be this one and the Bollywood. Bollywood have also got a lot of new rides added on as well which I do believe again are from the Six Flags which has fallen through. Now when you go through the water park and this is up into the Legoland bit and you walk up to the top of some of the slides you can actually see some of the rides in pieces ready to go up so they have got more to add to this so it'll be very very interesting how much they're going to expand everything by because this has expanded massively over just the last couple of years so hopefully they'll start getting the Thank footfall you. that this place sort of deserves um but it doesn't seem to be that popular with the locals apparently but we will we will see how it goes and hopefully it will just keep growing and growing and growing because the first couple of years it was running at a loss and now it has started to break even so hopefully it will start making a profit because they've put so much effort into all the theming I really do appreciate everything that they've done. Now we're going into the Hungium section. So this is this is all that used to be here. So you see, you come down as a horseshoe and you would just come back up again. So I am bolting down quickly now to try and catch the ride. You can see it's nice and orange and all lit up. You can just see the height of the track. And we do get this on two cameras. So we get this on the GoPro, hence why it's lovely and clear with all the lighting. And then I do switch cameras and a different night and we'll have a look at the going and we'll have a look at the train going full fat so we'll catch it from a different from a different place but you can just see how big this track actually is with regards to just the corners and the banking and everything but then it suddenly finishes because you only do one loop so it's got a really good drop it goes for a little bit and then it sort of finishes without you expecting it to finish but it's a very very nice quick roller coaster everybody it's one of those that you have to do basically you, you got you got to get on it enjoy it that is the supply shop just behind it. There's a massive shop at the back uh, that we went in on the day video. Um, I'm trying to make these videos slightly different. So some of the bits that you're watching now, you wouldn't have seen in the day video. And some of the bits that you don't see in this video, you will see in the day video. But where it's all lit up, that is obviously all the track. And then I do believe I will cut the video and there we go.
and he shoots round and shoots off and what we'll do now is we'll change it to a completely different camera on a completely different day hence why it's a little bit more grainy and it's a little bit more bumpy but because it's now not on a gopro so we'll walk around we get to soak it in a little bit better because i did rush with the gopro to get there because i didn't want to miss it because i heard them loading it up now on this one it means i can zoom in and you can actually see where the train comes across the track how it goes forward first then it gets shot back and it shoots up so loads and loads of people well, i say loads and loads handfuls of people were standing here because there's only handfuls of people on the actual ride because again different night still completely empty as you can see it was nice that they had and how they got all the theming with regards to the hunger games and how much more attractive it looks lit up at night with regards to like all the statues and everything there's a lot of stuff we just go through during the day and it sort of just blends in but at night it really really stands out so like i keep saying it's a place to a place to come to in the evening right so we're gonna very very gingerly walk because i've got to walk a lot slower with this camera it bounces a lot more so you can see that you can see the difference but you can just see how high and tall that actually is and if you are at the back of the ride on this one that's the that's the way i would recommend the front's all good fun um, but the back is where you lose your stomach because you're obviously a lot higher than everybody, a lot higher than everybody else. So we are now about to come through. I'm going to go quiet. Keep your eyes peeled on how the track starts to come across. And then it goes forward and back again. We'll listen to the screams and I'll catch back up with you straight after. But just eyeball everything and let me know if this will be a ride you would like to do. that so would that be something you'd like to do in the evening let me know um, I highly recommend doing it it's, it is a good bit of fun it's a shame that you can't film the other coasters and the tracks and things just because of where they are and how they're hidden you can film the John Wick track but you have to be well outside the park sort of walking in over the bridge and you get a really nice look at the track and you can hear the screams in the distance but you can't really you can't really film it but that is now a full loop of the Lions Gate at Motion Gate Dubai Parks and Resorts. Hopefully you've enjoyed the tour. Hopefully it's something you might want to get your teeth sunk into. And if you ever think of planning a trip on Dubai, you might add this to your list of things to do. Um, I, I recommend coming just for the, for the day and just seeing how you get on with it. But again, let me know in the comments if it's something you'd like to do. But guys, I'm going to start to wrap it up there. But if you could like and subscribe and all that good stuff, that would be absolutely fantastic. But as always, thank you very much for watching. You guys take care and I hope to catch you in the next one. Ta-da.